Hey, everybody, I'm Chris. Um, I was a product manager turned computer scientist. Joe found me and generously gave me this opportunity to talk. Thank you, Joe. Um, I've never done anything like this before, and I like to acknowledge that I'm the only man on this panel. Um, so I wrote something about privilege and my experiences in the industry. Um, here goes. My parents could afford here for, to come here from Taiwan. My parents could afford to raise me in a world where white people told me I was worth it. My parents told me, my parents could afford to get me an education where a black woman in a predominantly white institution taught me intent is not outcome. It took me 15 years to understand what this meant. My mother could afford to stand up against her husband who believed living in America with an MBA would give him the privilege of being a white man. My mother could afford to stand up against her husband, a man who believed she couldn't handle driving on the highway, something she does regularly. My mother could with effort beyond the possibility of my understanding, afford to get me educated repeatedly and make sure I never went hungry. I could afford to work a job where the fact that I'll never fit in didn't matter as long as I kept a roof over my head. I could afford to work another job where it was heavily implied my oriental looks and natural work ethic was attractive. I could afford to yet work another job where I was asked if I knew Kung Fu and think it was funny only to realize later that it was because of how I look. I could afford at yet another opportunity for advancement to believe that when I was told I needed to be authentic, that that was all I needed to do. I could afford to understand that no matter how hard I tried, I should leave a deeply toxic industry because I would never look and think like the people I'd be working with and I would never be enough. I could afford to understand that I would be taken more seriously as a computer scientist, not because I have what it takes to do the work, but because I look the part. I could afford to not understand when a recruiter called me and said I was the picture perfect DEI candidate they were looking for and not understand I was being hired for how I look, not what I could do. I could afford to understand finally after all of these years that I could not afford to be my full authentic self and be taken seriously in any professional setting. Because of my mother's effort, I could afford to have the self-esteem to fall in love with anything so long as it was sufficiently challenging and held my attention. Because of my mother's effort, I could afford to understand I have privilege and power beyond my comprehension. And if I do not wield this with all my might, I'm a throwing away sacrifices she made. Because of my mother's effort, I could afford to understand that the ways I bent and shrunk myself to fit into a mold for a living wage makes me sick with rage some days, and this is healthy because it's a sign I'm still sane. Because of my mother's efforts, I could afford to understand that the hollowing I inflicted upon myself is a privilege compared to what others endure and do to themselves on a day-to-day -day basis to simply stay safe. Because of my mother's efforts, I could afford to be educated enough to understand what I went through and what I go through is institutional racism. Even with my experiences, I am telling you these things because I cannot understand what you had to go through to get here today. But if I am angry, I cannot imagine what you feel. I am telling you these things because if you haven't heard it already, you are right to be furious. You're right that what you went through is wrong, sick, 
cruel and deeply fucked. You're right, this should make you angry. I am telling you these things because with what power I have, this world makes me do things to hurt myself to pass as a respectable minority and that will never be enough. And for this, I am sorry that this is a reasonable reaction to what it means to be who we are. Thank you.